Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News update. Our top stories, a hectic morning for some residents in Dorchester. Fire damaged three homes on Carson Street. It started in the back of a multifamily home about 5 a.m. and then quickly spread to two houses next door. Boston Fire tweeted they had to use ground ladders to rescue several people and pets. 33 people in all were displaced. Closure for families who lost loved ones in a 1971 plane crash on Lake Champlain. A private plane flying from Burlington to Providence during a snowstorm crashed into the lake near Juniper Island. This is video from search efforts in 2014. All five people on board that plane died in the crash. Well, now it's believed the remains of the plane have been found. An undersea search specialist with help from the Champlain Maritime Museum and a Middlebury College professor discovered the wreckage using sonar data of the bottom of the lake. Photos show parts of the plane and a comparison with the original jet. The exact location of the site will remain confidential out of respect for the victims. It's official Governor Healy's declared today... Tom Brady Day in Massachusetts, highlighting his championship victories and dedication as an athlete just in time for tonight's big event at Gillette Stadium. Sky Eye over Gillette, where the stage is set for the big celebration of the NFL GOAT. Another beautiful day, and it's only going to get warmer around here. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Alyssa Andrews. Hey everybody, good afternoon today. Beautiful weather once again, going into high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. We started off the day with mostly sunny skies, but we will see a few more clouds filling in into the afternoon, which could bring up some spot showers. Then as we get into Friday of this week, we're looking at strong showers and even some thunderstorms returning into the forecast. And there is a severe threat, including in that as well, which we're going to go over in our forecast. As for this Father's Day weekend, perfect, beautiful weather, seasonal temperatures, right where we should be in the mid 70s with plenty of sunshine this weekend dry weather. It looks really great for Father's Day weekend and then into next week we are tracking a major warm up. This could be our warmest stretch of the season of the year so far and even seeing heat index values in the mid to upper 90s for some. So it's going to be a very, very warm stretch. There's a lot to get to in this forecast. 73 degrees in Boston with more cloudy skies than what we saw earlier today. These clouds are really starting to fill in on our satellite here, but still dry for the moment. Now these next few hours Hours, we're going to be seeing the rain and spot showers moving through. Here's that early preview of the weekend forecast. Mid 70s, plenty of sunshine, great weather to celebrate the fathers this weekend. We are right where we should be with mostly sunny skies. Now, this next big thing we're tracking heavy downpours into the evening with thunderstorms on Friday night, and some of those storms could potentially pose a severe threat. That's why the Storm Prediction Center has put us in this slight risk for severe weather. Everything you see lit up here in yellow. I do think that most of those stronger storms are going to remain for central and western Massachusetts, but we'll time that out here. These next couple of hours, the spot showers today, I'm not going to mess up any travel plans by any means, but you could see a few sprinkles present into the late afternoon, early evening. Otherwise, a mostly dry day with starting off with a lot of sunshine at least, but we will see more clouds as the day progresses. And then into Thursday, even more sunshine tomorrow, getting us ready, setting the stage for temperatures warming up into Friday and also bringing back the humidity and really giving us an atmosphere that storms can thrive in and even potentially pose a severe threat. So this is going to be the timing here by about five o'clock. We see some of those heavier downpours and with some storms already starting to, to kick off here by 830 PM. This line continues to push on eastward and still well into 11 close to midnight. Some of these stronger storms will remain for central Massachusetts. It does clear out, though, however, very nicely as we head to the weekend. So Father's Day weekend looks great. Make plans outdoors. You will not be disappointed with the Saturday Sunday weather temperatures in the mid 70s. So Looking ahead these next couple of days, we do quickly go back into the 80s for Thursday. Tomorrow it's going to be sunny and hot outside, and that just gets us ready and sets the stage for those storms to move through Friday evening. After that, we cool back just in time for Father's Day weekend, more to mild seasonal temperatures. It's going to be really nice. Finally, a, a weekend pair of days with sunshine and good weather. And then as we start off next week, that's when the real heat really begins. We see temperatures into the 90s and heat index values even higher. Thanks, Alyssa. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.